Hey YouTube fams, what's going on? It's me again, Winston. As some of you know, and I mentioned it in my past videos, I've been driving around for Lyft and Uber. And up until up until late, I've I finally achieved a thousand rides. And with Lyft, you know, it's quite a milestone, you get a jack and everything. But that's not what this video is about. It's about one star rating and the do's and don'ts. Okay? The do's and don'ts that that will either earn you a five star rating or a one star rating. So here goes out of the experiences that I've had within the past thousand rides plus that I've you know that I've made, a couple of things that stuck out in my head. One, and this is one of my pet peeves, slamming doors. Now, think of think about it. If somebody were to slam your door, would you like it? You gotta, you know, think. Yeah, you, know, you gotta think along the lines of respect for other people's property. And you know, I'm, you know, I'm about sharing. All right, that's what ride sharing is. I'm sharing my ride with you, but does that give you the right to slam doors? I mean, come on. Second, when you're being a little obnoxious and you be being loud and all that stuff. That's gonna slowly bring your rating down over time, and you're probably gonna be, you know, probably gonna wake up the next morning, look at your rating, and like, what the heck happened? It's like if you were too drunk, or you were a little under the influence to even know what the heck you were doing, you shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> All right. Um, another thing that kind of stuck out in my head is. When you're not being as interactive with your fellow driver, that all yeah, it, it makes for a very awkward, you know, ride. So interact once in a while. You know, we can understand if you're busy on the phone or if you're you know if you're a business person, you're doing something on your phone, you're messaging, emailing, all that stuff. We'll keep our mouths quiet, you know, but if you're just sitting there staring at in the space, not engaging your driver, well, we're gonna probably think, okay, well, maybe they just want to be left alone, and we're we'll, we're fine with that. But we like it better when you interact. Now, when you interact though, and you say the wrong thing to your driver, that's gonna earn you a low rating. Okay, so be careful. Other than that, you know, I love you know what I do. I can deal with people. But when you're like testing the limits of your driver, not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. I'm 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 just speaking out, you know, under my you know, I'm just speaking from the top of my head, and I'm pretty sure some drivers can relate to this. And I'm probably not gonna be the only person posting of a video about this. But you you know, your behavior around your driver you know affects you. And it affects your rating. And if your rating goes below a certain point, then drivers might be reluctant to, you know, pick you up. All right, it is what it is. Same goes for us drivers. If you're if you're not acting right in front of your passengers, your rating can go down, and boom! Next thing you know, no one's gonna want to ride with you. All right, or you'll be you'll be matched up with other crappy passengers. You know, you never know. You know what I mean? You never know. Okay. So keep those things in mind. You know, it goes both ways, but us drivers, we get affected, you know, the worst because it doesn't take much for our ratings to go down, you know what I mean? Um, and over a thousand rides and I've, I've maintained, a, you know, a five point, you know, of close to, if not a five, but a very high 4.9 something, you know, out of, because, you know, I'm courteous, I say hi, you know, I I try to interact. I I provide. You know, I used to provide water, but since somebody spilled water in my interior, you know, I didn't want to go through that again. So I I I dish out candy, um, and I try to be as accommodating as I can. You know, if it's too hot, put on the AC. If it's too cold, put on some heat. Everything, you know, that makes your you know passengers comfortable, do it. And uh, I, I'm just ranting, raving, and all that stuff, and I'm just getting this on the top of my head. But hopefully, you know, it helps out 
other fellow drivers and everything. But if you want to earn a one star, slam doors, be obnoxious, throw up in their car, you know, say the wrong thing, affect you. Know, I, that's a, you know, that's how you affect yourself in the wrong way. So be careful, all right. And that's drivers. We got to set a better, you know, we got to set a better mark. We got to, be you know, set our standards higher because we don't want to end up being like, you know, the cab drivers because that's what people take Lyft and Uber in the first place. It's because they don't want to experience cab drivers, okay? You can't, you know, the old, you know, old school timers, the old timers, you know, they don't want to, you know, catch up with the times. You know they're not up to speed with technology. Okay, let them take the yeah, let them take the cab. You know, don't fault them for it. Okay, drivers, especially, you know, when when you go off and r ranting to your fellow passengers about why some of these folks don't want to take Lyft or Uber, don't fault them for it. And you know they're just not you know up to speed. Okay, so that it, it is what it is. All right. So be careful what you say to your passengers. Likewise for the you know, likewise for the passengers. Careful, careful what you say to your drivers. You, you know we're all sensitive in our own, you know, wick whack way, whatever. <laughs> okay, and so out of respect, yo, y your behavior dictates your rating. All right. It kind of like a restaurant, you know, you got a five star, everybody starts out with five stars. But if the food's crappy, if the service is crappy, if the if the place looks like crap, it all falls down from there. All right, so keep that in mind. Same goes for us service providers, okay? And same goes for the, you know, the, the passengers, okay? It, it goes both ways, all right? So... Just something that you know, I thought I'd share with everyone. All right. So if you like what you you see in here, if you want to see more, you know, hit that thumbs up. You know, share it with your family, friends, loved ones, or even random strangers. I don't care. You know, <laughs> but you know, it, it. This is just a good educational, you know, pointers type video that I wanted to put out just so that everybody has a better experience. All right? Until next time, take care of yourselves. Peace out. And stay out of trouble, you crazy kids. See ya.